Hey guys, um, I just thought I'd show you some of the new parts I got for my mower deck um, restoration here. Um, one of the fun things about doing restoration is searching for the parts you need. Um, um, anyway, I got uh, I got some new belts. Um, these are the blue belts, and these are Kevlar, so they're a much more durable belt. Um, I also got the main the main belt for the for the deck, the drive pulley, and um, and then the deck belt. Now this deck is a little different because um, it's a time deck. Um, so what that means is um, you have two pulleys and the blades are um, pointed dif different directions so that they don't hit each other. Um, they come in the same range with each other but they never hit. And the reason that they don't hit is because they're using a different kind of pulley. Um, this is the only mower deck that uses this pulley. Cub Cadet changed their, um, their mower deck uh, design after this one. I think this one uh, it wasn't really the safest deck, I guess. Um, one of the reasons was you had to engage it on the deck with the foot pedal, and there was really no PTO uh, to engage it. But um, they use these crazy, uh, these crazy cast aluminum pulleys, and uh, it's it's got teeth on it, so it's for timing. It's sort of like a timing belt pulley, sort of on a car, but it's called a cog pulley, and um, so it's a little unusual. Um, I have. This one, which is just completely shot, it was cracked. It looked like maybe they hit a stone, and the teeth are pretty much all rotted away um, from moisture, I guess. The aluminum kind of oxidizes like that. It kind of disintegrates when it gets, uh, you know, instead of corrosion like rust, it kind of disintegrates. But anyway, so I got a new pulley for it. I got to remove the old cast iron pulley, and I'm going to mount it to this new pulley that I bought. Um, I actually got the whole spindle um i did pretty good i got it for 30 bucks so i got an extra uh spindle extra set of bearings and stuff but anyway uh that's what i got so far and then i got the uh i got the new bearings for uh the spindles i'm going to replace them with brand new ones and um you know what a difference it makes but new bearings and everything i mean they move so smoothly there's no there's no grinding at all i mean they're really tight so I got new uh, new pulleys for the spindles. Um, here's the spindles, um, and uh, I got the rest of the parts all cleaned up. I I got um, I got new wheels for it. These are kind of cool. This these are the brackets that mount the wheels to the deck, and I was able to find these. I wanted some with bearings in them because they run so much smoother, and I think these are shopping cart wheels. <laughs> so um, they're five bucks a piece. I got them at eBay. But I think they're going to be a really great little wheel for the uh, for the deck. The same size as the originals, um, and I wanted something with bearings, so I think these will be fine. Um, I don't know; it's kind of cool, uh, shopping cart wheel. <laughs> but anyway, and um, and what else? I got the rest of my parts cleaned up. And these are uh, parts. They're all soaked in the molasses. Um, the molasses did a pretty good job. Everything seems to flash rust just because it's sitting out. So I'll have to clean them up a little bit before I paint them, but. All the paint, all the uh, rust is pretty much gone. Um, you know, all the pitting is is taken care of. So, and I have a couple other parts just over there um, that just are sitting there getting ready for uh, ready for paint. As soon as I get the deck finished, I'm gonna paint all this stuff too. But so anyway, so that's that's where I am with uh, with the restoration on this. Um, actually, I um, just wanted to show you one other thing. Uh, a lot of people uh, ask me about parts and stuff, about uh, the restorations, and um, I really can't stress enough how important it is to find a manual. I have manuals on everything that I restore. I always look for the manual. Um, it's kind of the fun of owning something like this. But this is a manual that I actually just printed off online, and um, I have it all organized with thumbnails. It covers the whole tractor. I got the engine, um, um, parts breakdown, everything. But um, it helps you to search when you're looking for parts. If you find the manual, you can look for the old part number, and then it gives you something to kind of search from. Another fun thing about owning the, or finding the manual is you get to read all the original um, advertisements and stuff, and uh, and um, you know that's that's part of the fun of owning these old tractors and and doing the restoration work. You know, you see the old advertisements, and there's that the timed the mower deck and the mower deck design. Which they completely changed because it, I guess, it wasn't really the best design, but it's original. Um, you can also look and see what the implements were that you know that were used with these old tractors, the original equipment, which is kind of fun. I mean, I'd like to find some of this stuff. Maybe someday I'll add some implements to the 
the restoration but um but you know it's you know here's the options that the tractor had um, yeah. but anyway quickly i just want to show you on any restoration you do always look for the parts breakdown like here's the parts breakdown to the mower deck and you can identify the bearings and then look at the part numbers and then you have the uh, manufacturer's part number which would be international now international didn't manufacture the parts they just put their own part numbers on them. so but sometimes when you have the original part number you can you can cross-reference that to another part number and you can it'll help you find what you're looking for like this was these bearings here and so like um, this bearing here the part number uh, there's a uh, it subs out to this number so I just like I keep track of my part numbers and write them down in my books uh, sometimes it takes you a long time to find parts and um, it's sort of like treasure hunting I guess um, I know on the Gilson tractor there was a part called a torsion spring and it was on the side of the transmission and it was broken and without it I couldn't run the tractor the transmission wouldn't work and uh, I searched and searched and searched for that part and I ended up finding the same part and it was used by Caterpillar and um, just just through search I was able to figure out um, find another part number for the same part then I could still order it but anyway if any of you guys are looking to do restoration work um, yeah always look for the original manual or some service manual um, you either find them online on a forum or some people sell things on eBay and uh, you know and then uh, start your you know searching start searching for your parts um, you know you might want to search for parts before you even start the restoration you know and uh, well, that's it guys I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, we'll uh, see how it turns out